Thank you so much for coming. Yes, Hello, everyone. Absolutely, absolutely. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm in the city of San Francisco in this wonderful con. You know it, absolutely. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna ask the room. Um, first of all, how many of you are anime fans have watched One Piece? Okay, good. Okay, so raise your hand if your team sub. Okay, all right. And raise your hand if your team dub. Okay, interesting mix, interesting mix. All right, we're gonna get started on some questions from these guys, and who knows where this is gonna go. Great, so, great. if you ask anything weird, I'm throwing my shoe at you. Just warning. <laughs> All right. Hello, friend. How are we doing? My name is Peter, and uh, who is your favorite One Piece character besides Buggy? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, oof. I think <laughs> I really. Um, I would really hope to get to the uh, Impel Down. Yeah. yeah! Because Inyaki and I really, really love working together, and I, and I love Luffy, and I think that that is such an excellent um, use of those characters. Yeah. So uh, even though it's the best rivalry, I love it so much. Um, so Luffy, I mean, I, it almost feels like a cop-out, but um, I really love Sanji. Hey, I love I ball. I yeah, love him. Yeah. I think he's so That's cool. Not yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and and Taz, I think Taz is amazing. So I I I, I like Sanji. Good choices. I think we all approve. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Hello. How do you feel about your about the fans' reaction with your performance as Buggy? The Buggy. You seem to like really bring your own take to take on take on him, and it's really good. It's really good. It makes Buggy a lot more intimidating than he was than he actually w was portrayed in previous forms of media. Thank you very one. much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No. It's it's been um, incredible. I was terrified of you. <laughs> um, I I really didn't want to mess it up because I know how much One Piece means to everyone. So it was. Um, it was incredibly exciting that people liked it. I, I, oh, thank you very much. I, 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 wanted, I wanted it to be its own thing. Uh, Cause I think that, I, I think if I tried to do the anime, that's why I stopped watching it because I, I just think it would have been, so it was really cool to try and come up with a, a different spin on it. And I thank you all very much for opening your mind enough to, to let it in, and I feel like it's generally been a pretty positive reaction. Well, make some noise for that, yeah. I appreciate that. That's what I'm talking about. That was a great one, absolutely great one. Hello. Buggy's powers are like a big part of his character. How were some of those scenes used, like with the chop chop cannon, or like when your head's just sitting on a table or a barrel? How like did those scenes go when filming? Well, it's, it's an extremely complicated and advanced VFX team mm -hmm. that is doing it so, um, uh, uh, the vast majority of the time it's like these wildly incredible guys that that um, do a visual effects that are some of the best in the world and then sometimes it's a hole in a table and I stick my <laughs> head through and that's how we do it but it's it's uh, it's incredible because some of the like when when they're walking holding my head and I'm talking it's like it's really incredible and it's it's very difficult to do that and these guys are artists so it's it's mainly them did you have any specific moments from filming or like cast interactions or any members of the cast that you like to hang out with or anything like that well we were since it, we filmed in South Africa and um <clears throat> none of us uh live there, a few, some people in the cast are from there, but um, Taz and Emily and, and Yaki and me and McKenyu and Jacob, we, none of us live there, so, and Matt, uh, the showrunner, we, so we all hung out a, a lot, and it was very, um, like, a, sort of a found family, similar to One Piece, um, with all of us down there, but so, it, the, those people are all, feel like, feel like family, but, um, I really loved when Inyaki and I were filming the 10 episode, we were kind of messing with each other and kind of like just saying stuff that wasn't in the script to each other. And he kept doing this thing. <laughs> he kept doing this thing where um, I would be talking and I was trying to talk, and I, I had his hat and I was trying to talk about Shanks and he just kept going, my hat, <laughs> my hat. <laughs> and I would start to say the line. I was like, and, and you go, my hat. 
And I was like, shut up. That's not, and it was so appropriate to the character dynamic, but it like went too many times. He did it too many times. Our director was like, and yeah, you have to stop, you have to stop. But it was hilarious. And like, it annoyed the hell out of me. But I was like, that's so funny. Like, that is so awesome. Yes, that you're doing that. So it was, I really, those days with Inyaki were very, very special. Those were my favorite. What was the most difficult aspect of adapting Buggy as a character for you? Mm. Um, I would say um, avoiding being like the Joker. Because I really didn't want to do that. I really, I revere Nicholson's and Heath Ledger is a perfect performance and Joaquin and every, there, it, it's so iconic um, that I really was trying to, to do something different and it's hard because he's a pirate, he's a clown. You know, he's like, there's a, but, but I really tried to find a different, I mean, Mark Hamill's Joker is so incredible. Facts. It's, you know, like, which, which I grew up on, and in, I, um, I, I really, the animated series, Batman the Animated Series was, is so phenomenal. Make some noise for that, y'all. It's incredible, yeah. it's incredible. Really and so like, I, I wanted it to be kind of its own thing, and sometimes I am like, you know, I, I, it was just so, it was, that was so difficult. I really wanted um, it to be buggy and not Joker. So that, that was really hard, but I, I, I feel like I found something that I don't know. Absolutely. I, I, you know, so that I, I, I hope that it's, it's unique. So in the manga and the anime, we know that Buggy has long hair, because if he chops it off, it just goes back. What I want to know is, in the live action, are we going to get Buggy with the good hair? Oh. I really hope so. I hope so, too. I don't know yet, but I That's really right. hope so, because he looks... Hot. He's yeah. so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. We know hot. that's why you wanted the role. We know. Obviously. We know. Come on. I need everyone to go back and rewatch the series twice over the holiday season just to make sure it comes back. Can we do that? Yes, Excellent. please. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What would be your favorite line as Buggy? Mm. Any, <laughs> any of the um, times that they, because there were a lot more of them, and they cut, they cut some of them. Any times that he's making a, a, a shit pun, yeah. then he's calling them shit idiots mm -hmm. or Captain Shit-tastic <laughs> or um, uh, Surprise Shitheads. I tried to get as many sh shit references, <laughs> which I feel bad saying it's too to late. a young child. It's too late, it's too late. I've heard much As I continuously repeat <laughs> the word shit, so I'm sorry for yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. But that, to be honest, I there was it was very funny to me that Buggy was obsessed with it, and I kept pushing for it all the time. <laughs> and Matt would kind of laugh and roll his eyes, and then sometimes put it in the show. So go. it was good. I like it. One more time for Mr. Jeff Ward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so very much.